Like for you next week. Make good choices. What does that mean? It means make. What, what do you think it means? It means I'll see you later. Make good choices while you're gone. Okay, bet. I'll be back next week. Okay, bye. Get you up on the mic. Okay, uh, it's been a pleasure. I hope you don't have to solo cast. Uh, I'll try to I'll, find I'm gonna solo cast. It's fine. Okay, I got it. You have a good one, man. Unless Peace Bars is here or something. Bye. Make good choices. All right, here we go. Uh, final test. <laughs> All right, we're back with Final Destination here for Losers of Finals. Mr. E representing the Lucina. Venia already off to a fantastic start with that counter, trying to push Lucina super deep, going for that trade instead. Now, this is the matchup. You know, we saw last week, I'm pretty sure uh, Mr. E beat Venia last week, if I'm not mistaken. Actually, I, I don't remember. But regardless, you know, Venia's going to take away that first stock. These guys used to fight each other all the time back in the Smash 4 days, but now we got them coming up with the ultimate instead now out, right off the gate you know venny is going to be looking for these neutral errors with greninja really good for just getting those combos started able to get a lot of damage off of it didn't get too much off of that one maybe because of the rage might have messed up his little uh, little follow-ups a little bit went for a very greedy counter but managed to get the uh, tech off of the dolphin slash expecting the upbeat coming out from mystery as he dashes off stage a very strong option for lucina forward air is going to be really good at applying shield pressure to the opponent as he tries to fade away backwards Extremely safe, going for the pressure, tries to follow up the double jump, didn't expect the fast fall, goes for the down throw forward air, great trade in Venia's favor. Now they're just exchanging forward air, trying to outspace each other, but Venia's pushing off yet again, 94%. Struggling to find his way back down onto the stage, it's going to be an up throw into a kill, yes sir, Mystery taking away the first stock from Venia. A lot of cross-ups coming up. Venia, Greninja's dash attack, really great at crossing up opponents that are holding down that shield button. Able to kind of mix up, it makes it a little bit more tough for the opponents to try to get a punish afterwards as they have to go for the turnaround in the game. Up oh, still gonna catch a landing Mr. E. Tries to go for the follow-up with the second up air. Manages to ca call out the air dodge, expecting Venia to get a little bit aggressive with the jump, just opting to stay patient instead before getting that young, that young kill. Benny's going to be sitting at 69, going to hold on to that rapid jab, but only 11 frames before Mr. E can go for that roll right behind his opponent before going for that little bit of a follow-up. There we go, some more damage, some more big damage. Joining me here on the mic, it's your boy Gretch. How you doing, sir? Yeah, I'm doing good. We're talking about big damage right here. I'm going to add some big damage to this commentary. Let's awesome. do it. Let's go. Uh, I, I like that follow-up. I like that. <laughs> it was okay. Here we go. Now he for set on Venia. Okay, so we're on game one. One stock here for Mr. E. Good to see him in Losers Finals again after, mm. like you were talking about, I think it was, was it two weeks ago? Last week. Yo! Call him out. Get the back air. Oh my you god. Got it. You got it. We hit up B into back air call out. That was actually really smart. Um, or good reactions. Or both. Yeah, honestly, all, all of the above. All of the, <laughs> all of the above. A, B, or C. I'm yeah. D. I'm D. All of the yeah, above. SAT test, man. Yeah. We go dash stack <laughs> into that forward air. Hold on. He's sitting at 123%. Ooh. It could have okay. put him into a bad position, but he, Dolphin Slash covers so much like distance. He's playing the SAT, man. He knows all about biology. He knows this yeah. amphibian can spray that water, but still living. He also knows how to DI. Yeah. That's on the tech. Oh, oh, well. Yo, that was smart. Uh, I'm sure I'm shocked that he didn't go for a second hydro pump to push him off while he was in that for, uh, fast fall animation. Free fall. Uh, the thing about that is that that's kind of hard to react to, and if he'd gone to it, it would have killed his ledge get up. Right. So I'm not surprised, but that was a very smart call out for me. A risky one, but it paid off. So good call. Up throw? Oh, oh not no. enough. He yeah, probably needs a little bit more. If he gets a grab now. Oh, that's it. Yeah. yeah, there it is. Just splash him a little bit. That's what I was expecting the first time, but that time he had all of the time in the world mm -hmm. to go for that. So Venya's going to be taking away game number one from Mr. E. All right. So uh, I haven't had too many eyes on the bracket today. How have we been looking so far? For it's been looking good, man. A lot, a lot of uh, uh, Palutena's are rest in peace. Uh, Topian Ray going down with the fifth place. We got uh, uh, Frozen going down fourth. But Jen is still sitting in Grand Finals. So Jen, pretty dominating uh, winner's final set against uh, Venya. So you know he definitely wants that run back. But same thing with Mystery. They both lost to Jen in the winner's side of the bracket. So this, again, we see this a lot. But this is a battle of who can try to get the run back against the, the winner. I see. Uh, a game with no gods, but one master Palutena mm -hmm. at Jen Grand Final. We'll see who gets that spot. And honestly, uh, even though Venya, I'd say, took a fairly commanding game one from what I've seen, uh, Mystery is absolutely not going to come out B reverse of B, and that is kind of risky.
Yeah, extremely. All right. Fair. I call him the aggression. Challenging okay. offstage. Mr. E, so here's the thing, right? Mr. E, sometimes he goes for these aggressive stuff. I don't know if he's still doing a whole bunch of up B reversals, but he just, like, goes ham in ways that would be like, no. E? Mr. E going ham on me, Grinnin. Yeah, he yeah. would not. He would me never. Me mashing? <laughs> he doesn't. He, look oh at that. My God. Who else does that? Who does that? And honestly, from that, Venia could have recovered, but I think that was a little bit of a flub. He wasn't ready. Yeah. Nobody goes that deep and just dolphin slash up the well, he, into the he, stage. he was ready because he did get the tech at the, but it, he true. wasn't ready to be like directly centered underneath Smashville. That's true. I feel you're right. He could have come back, but still, that's an awkward spot to go. Oh, I'm at the the bottom of Smashville. Yeah. What a wonderful place. Let's let's go back to the game and find some real estate. Mm -hmm. Although still manages to take the stock back pretty quickly. Ah, uh, that was a good running forward uh, forward tilt. That's nice. Yeah. To pick up the combo there. I'm trying to think go for a dancing blade. Uh, dancing blade is one of the most optimal ways for uh, tech get ups. Because mm -hmm. if you miss time, you can just keep swinging. Yep, absolutely. And it is also good for traps like that. Uh, wreck a style move. Uh, typically good for that sort of thing. Uh, goes in. Mystery playing extremely careful to get back to the stage safe and sound. Mm -hmm. As. Ballsy as Mr. E can be. Yo, he parries the water. Yes, sir. There's no reward off of that, but that's well, style. And honestly, it was just an accident. You know, he's just letting go of shield to like, follow up so the True. parries just come out naturally. Even if it's an accident, it's a stylish accident. Yeah. Mr. E is all about playing for the people. He goes for that stuff. All right. All right. So the grab follow up just goes for the downer out of the short hop. Instead, has about 113%. Trying to go for the call out. Ooh, Ooh, that was no, that was an intentional parry. What did I parry. say? That was what did I say about Mr. E? There you go. He is. Oh Just get that get that kunai out of here, man. Let me ask you. You're in bracket. Ask me. Yeah, Let okay. me ask you. You're in bracket. I'm in bracket. Some man's holding a forward smash at kill percent at ledge on you. You say he's gonna let go now. I'm gonna parry this. Who yeah. does that? Mr. E does, man. I mean, Who does that honestly, that's a top player mentality. You'll see <laughs> some, someone like Light doing that too. You know, and Light's losers, the king of parries. Losers oh final, my. no less. That was gonna be a spike for a second. Wait a sec. Mystery starting to steal momentum from Venny after such a devastating game. Yo! One, just call out the counter, get the forward smash. Don't even need a tipper. I'm Lucina, not Marth. Game number two, going to Mr. E. Mr. E is so on fire, he's got me hype. I'm burning back here. Yeah. Woke my ass up. Let's, let's, let's see that counter one more time. Yo. Right, because Mr. E playing. That was so yeah. brave. Now, this one, this time around, Mr. E was just playing extremely patient. Just knocks him off. Doesn't want to commit. Waits to see what he's going to do. Yeah. Oh. You saw him even ready up the shield just in case he's going to swing because he let go of shield to try to get anticipation of a parry. Yes. A, a, a potential parry, but saw a down B coming out from Venia. A little uncharacteristic from him, too, to just go for a counter like that randomly as he's trying to get back on stage. Could have been a little bit flustered, just trying to go for a gambit. Perhaps. You also got to remember that because he had grabbed the ledge once, uh, he had no re-grab invincibility. Oh, um, that, I didn't even recognize that. Yeah, yes. that, that's smart. So uh, with that, Mr. E definitely had uh, the advantage in that state. Venya betted on the counterattack, and it did Lost. Yeah. Yes. So, so it, it, even if he didn't go for the counter, like if it was a retaliation, like Mr. E was at the ready with that potential parry, you know? Mm -hmm. So he, he was just kind of a lose lose situation. The second that down tilt connected. That's often, uh, I've heard a couple of top players say, uh, and I agree, that when you get really good at this game, the top players and the top characters, they put you into a lot of situations and you just have to pick the lesser of all those evils. Yeah, the lesser of two evils. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, Mr. E walling out pretty well here, holding control of the stage, even with a bit of a percent deficit. Ocala's so Pokemon League is a pretty strong stage for Greninja. It allows him to be able to do uh, a faint recovery like he just did. Mm -hmm. and went back and forth, laying back down on that platform, as well as be able to cling to the wall like he just did. Yes. Very Ooh. strong option to do. And, you know, you get that setup as well. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Clean play from Venya. And then, uh, is that a platform cancel when he does that with the water? Because I'd seen it, but I was... Uh... No. So, it, back in the day before the patch, uh, Venya was... Uh, Greninja was able to do platform cancels on moving platforms, like Town and City or Lilat. Oh. Or, I, I think Lilat. Uh, Lilat if it was non, the non-hazardous version. Mm -hmm. But, um... Ever since the patch, he's no longer able to do that, so there's always going to be lag. Right. Okay. That's in there. Good job. Falling of up air. Playing extremely patient, waiting to see what Venya's gonna do first, reacting instead of acting. Mm -hmm. And Venya good at both in these scenarios. Oh my, what is that Ooh, angle? That was a uh, that was a nasty <laughs> angle. I feel a little sick watching yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that uh I'm in geometry, but they sent me AP calculus yeah. level angles. Yeah, like, not, why, not why not is happening. this on the test? 
But here we go. That's going to be uh, second, the first stock from Venia being uh, destroyed. Let's see if Mystery can try to bring this back slowly. He's got a l slight percentage lead, so it's not too big of a deal unless you get Good called call. out. Yo, and that kill. Damn. I mean, he charged it. He did. I was like half charged. Even then, I was like, no, no, that looks like he'll make it with the eye, but straight up angle, man. Uh, sweet spot up smash, calling out Mystery, swinging, mashing buttons. Mm -hmm. So about one stock even behind. Good dancing blade to cover the roll there. All right. That was actually a good call out with the up air, but just barely whips it over on the platform. We had the right read, but the wrong position. Uh, that was a straight punish. No call out on that though. Some more up airs, some more forward airs. <clears throat> All right. Ooh! Calls him out immediately That's with yet rough. another forward smash. Venny is going to take a clean 2 1 victory over Mystery. He's going to move on to Grand Finals to try to get some sort of revenge against Jen, but. We'll see if he can actually manage to put a point on the board because the past three sets they fought, Jen has had the victory. So let's see if fourth time's the charm. Is this the first time that these two have played in grand finals since uh, that one time a couple weeks ago? Yes. When you did the interview with Jen. 